This is episode 2023 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I honor you for showing up for yourself as you get ready to give yourself a little more peace, energy, and clarity today. Sitting down to meditate, even giving yourself a pause throughout the day as you do the meditation technique I'll be sharing with you today could just be the best thing you do for yourself all day long. In today's episode, you are going to discover how to break negative thought patterns. There are many ways to do this, but I'll be sharing with you a way to break thought patterns that are especially prevalent and hazardous to your thoughts. Negative thinking is a bad habit that can be broken. And that's what you are exploring this week in this week's series. And you have a challenge. Each day this week, I challenged you to chase down your negative thoughts. So the challenge is a thought chaser. Begin to notice when you are thinking a negative thought and then track that thought to its origin. What made you start thinking this negative thought in the first place? How does it make you feel? If it makes you feel angry, is it really anger or is it more fear because you feel threatened in some way? And what really makes you feel threatened? And begin to unravel that thought as you get to the root of your negative thought. Keeping a journal helps immensely as you do this process. In fact, there's a lot of research that shows how when you journal, writing something down on paper, the old fashioned way, it helps you to process your thoughts and your emotions much more effectively than just thinking things through. Or even if you were to text or use a voice recorder to process your emotions. Writing with pen or pencil and paper is a powerful way to clarify your thoughts and emotions. So you might try that. Well, we are past our midweek of this series, and you may have noticed that some of your negative thoughts follow a particular pattern. And I'm going to mention a few patterns that are very prevalent among negative thoughts. Remember, we all have these negative thoughts and we can break these thoughts when you recognize certain common thought distortions. So see if you can identify your negative thoughts as I share with you these thought distortions. This is coming from Psychology Today an article in the Women's Mental Health Matters by the Selene Institute. It's an article by Dr. Patricia Hartenek, and it's titled, Seven Ways to Deal with Negative Thoughts. Learn how to tap into the positive and manage the negative. So she talks about thought distortions and the first thought distortion is black and white thinking. Do you notice yourself seeing everything as one way or another way without too much flexibility in between? Just think about if you take your thoughts to an extreme in any way. So you might see someone and think, oh, they don't like me. They didn't smile at me. I think they gave me actually a really dirty look. So I know they don't like me. When really that person may not have even noticed walking past you because they were so deep in thought. Or do you recognize this 
common thought distortion. Personalizing. It's similar to black and white thinking. Do you feel that you are to blame for something that goes wrong? For example, when you pass that person and they don't smile at you, you think it's because they saw something about you that they didn't like and that there's just no way to please this particular person. And you can go on and on and on and create a big scenario when you personalize your thoughts. Do you see any of your thoughts being distorted in this way? The next way is filter thinking. When you're choosing to see only the negative side of a situation. So you just think that no matter what, it's just going to be negative. There's no hope. It's just bad. Do you notice yourself falling into this kind of thought pattern? Maybe you're in a dispute with someone and you just see no way will this ever work out. It could be just a bad thought distortion on your part. So consider that. And the fourth thought distortion is catastrophizing. Now, you might notice that you assume the worst possible outcome is going to happen. So let's say you wanted to make amends with someone that you are in a dispute with, but you think, oh, it will just make it worse. And then that person will just go on and on acting how they act. And you can just think of all these ways that it's just going to be a big catastrophe. Notice if you do this, we all do these to certain extents. Notice if your thought distortions are actually habits. So what you can do to reverse these thought distortions is to challenge your negative thoughts. Think about whether or not there's a complete reality in the way you are thinking, or if you could see some wiggle room for improvement. So the person who walked past you and you thought that person just didn't like you and on and on and on, maybe you could say, well, maybe that person didn't see me or maybe that person's just in a really bad mood. You could even have compassion and sympathy for the person. So think about this as you go into your meditation today. Consider your thought distortions. You might notice a definite pattern in how you frame your thoughts and your experiences. So that is your technique to do as you settle yourself down to meditate. Think about a particularly negative thought and analyze it and consider if you are personalizing that thought, if it's a black and white type of thought, if you are filtering that thought by only thinking negatively, or if you're catastrophizing the thought and just only thinking of the worst possible outcome. See if you can reverse that thought process and think of maybe not the cure to your negative thought, but how you could begin to see some hope or rationalize in a true and valid way how you could improve that thought. So this could be a very important pivotal change for you this week because once you do this once you may begin to recognize that you could do this again and again rinse and repeat it across your thought process for those thoughts you may be distorting know that the full 30 minute guided meditations are on as always the sip and ohm meditation act 
where you can receive free two-week access to over 2,000 guided meditations as well as a journal. For this week, it is a release negative thoughts journal as well as a slow down guide with all the different techniques we've explored this week on that guide for you to download. You are so worth slowing down for.